G'day everyone, I'm Neely the Flying Vet. Just thought I'd bring you an educational video for once. Um, today uh, we're going to be speaking about ovine brucellosis, um, bruso as it's sort of informally known as. Uh, basically it's an, a uh, bacterial infection that incur occurs in the, in the testes of the ram. So it is a venereal disease, meaning it is a sexually transmitted disease. It causes ram infertility and it also causes a transient temporary infertility in ewes. So when they're infected, they're usually infected for about six weeks or two cycles and then they'll beat the disease and then become fertile again, which is why if you do have a Brousseau problem in your flock, um, most often you'll have re a reduced um, in lamb rate or if you've got an extended um, joining period you'll notice that most of your lambs are coming at the end of that joining period rather at the beginning because you've had a mass brucellosis infection. So to give you a bit of a um, close-up view as to what um, what happens. So this is a testicle of, of a ram, or well, small small ram lamb we've cut this out of. Um, this is the tail of the epididymis, the head of the epididymis, and the testes. What happens when a ram is infected with brucellosis is often it colonizes the epididymis, especially the tail. So you'll often notice an inflammation of your epididymis, most often in your tail and in your head. Um, so the most important way to to diagnose brucellosis in your herd is to palpate the testicles and also to blood test. Um, palpation is a really good, accurate, cheap way to diagnose brucellosis in your flock. When you're palpating the testicles, what you're looking for is symmetry. Um, so you're wanting the head and the tail of the epididymis to be the same size, both testicles to be the same size. Um, any inconsistencies with size can easily indicate that you might have a brucellosis infection um, and then based on, on what findings you have of your, of your testicle palpation um, you'll either want to, if it's fairly obvious and you've got a, an epididymis or a testicle that's severely misformed, misshapen, you'll probably instantly cull before you even go to a blood test because uh, fairly likely it'll be brucellosis. Uh, <clears throat> a blood test can be done um, either by your private veterinarian or by the LLS. Um, when it comes to blood testing, um, ideally we want them to be shorn. Really, really hairy, hairy or full wool rams can slow down the process. Um, usually bleed about 100 rams an hour. Uh, the cost of the test depends on who you're getting to do it. Uh, the DPI, the LLS, uh, do it at cost price. So they only charge you the cost of doing the test, which I think off the top of my head might be about $10. A private veterinarian, obviously, they're not funded by the government, so we need to factor in our time in doing that test. Costs range from $16 to $20 a head plus travel, depending depending on where you are um, and your local veterinarian. Um, prevention is a lot better than cure. So if you can prevent your flock from getting brucellosis in the first place, it is a lot easier than trying to remove it once it's in. In saying that, it is quite hard to prevent brucellosis from entering your flock in the Western Division because of fencing and drought. Um, for example, the number one thing to try and do to prevent brucellosis is to make sure you have really good fencing that strays can't get out of, or your sheep can't get out of and then come back with the infection on board. And this is a, an, old, an old saying, but uh, once you've made a sheep proof fence, and in our case we run Dorpers, uh, the best way to test if your fence is Dorper proof is to do this. And if the water goes through, so will the Dorper. So there. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty true um, but yeah unfortunately no fence unless you've got the whiz bang dog proof fence is going to be sheep proof so especially when in times of drought sheep are going to walk 
you're going to get strays or your sheep are going to stray. Um, and unfortunately, they're a big source of um, So trying to remove those strays as, as soon as possible or prevent your sheep from straying is quite important. Another way to prevent brucellosis from entering your herd is to make sure you don't buy rams from sale yards because they will, they're, they're cull rams. Someone's trying to get rid of them for some reason. Another, is, another thing when you're buying rams is to get them from an accredited flock that is um, brucellosis accredited, which means that they are brucellosis free um, and uh, under quite strict um, guidelines in regards to their inter in regards to their brucellosis management. Um, once, um, but yeah, going back to the disease itself, um, once a ram is infected, if you catch it, if you've got a really um, valuable ram, you can try to cure them from having it. Um, if you diagnose it early before they have those significant changes in their testicle. So uh, you can treat them with a very prolonged course of antibiotics, um, but that is not always practical in every scenario um, and it's not practical for, for and viable for every business as well to be doing that. Um, the ewe will eventually overcome the infection. She will not always be infected. It's only a transient infection that she has. Um, so yeah, that is my guide uh, and basics to brucellosis. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a phone call um, or send me a text message. Cheers, guys.